can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky don't fly around spinning balls? Because NASA is my bitch right now, bitch right now, bitch right now. <laughs> so, I, I've been asked to address this B.O.B. -B situation, and to be honest, it, it makes no difference to me. There's, what, two, two ideas of thought? Either he's genuine, coming out, you know, exposing it, or he's been put there to further an agenda. <coughs> Don't really know. Don't, you know, there's enough. I've had fucking people claim I'm a Freemason because, God forbid, I made a fucking video where I just so happened to talk for 2 minutes and 23 seconds long. That's how long my video was. So, God, I must be a fucking Freemason. <laughs> Fucking whatever. <laughs> so I'm not gonna. I don't know. I I you know I don't know. Be suspect. You know, question everything. Decide for yourself. But one thing I can say is the the most important thing to me. What I've done on all my flat Earth videos, or, or the majority of them, is try to expose who the true terrorists are. Why the the globe Earth has been pushed. It's all a control mechanism by the true terrorists to control you all towards an ultimate goal of dominating the, the flat world we live on um, it's <coughs> I know some of you don't like the term flat you want me to use level you know what it's it is what it is it's all semantics it's all gonna come back to the flat earth anyways no matter if we call it level earth whatever it you know and people feel deceived if you say level earth and they find out you're talking about flat earth well then you're trying to hide something you know so it is what it is i'm not gonna check my tongue and, and have a script about everything i say it's just you know that's what it comes down to flatters what people know so if they're gonna get hung up on the moniker that it's called and not look at what it's about then they're not about finding the truth anyway so I you know it is what it is um, but the the most important thing to expose to me is the real psychopaths the real demons the real evil is the people that have perpetrated this lie I know the truth. I didn't need B.O.B. to tell me. I was already there. What I can warn as a word of caution to people is, you think you've been trolled now? <laughs> you think there's dissension in the ranks now? Don't let people sell you that, oh, these few celebrities are going to come out and there's going to be this grand awakening. You know, how does the saying go? First they ignore you, then they ridicule you, then they fight you, then you win, right? Well, this would be the introduction to the real big ridicule stage, in my opinion. If he's, you know, whether or not he's been planted to further the agenda, you got to realize there's, what, 3 million hits on YouTube now as far as Flat Earth, either pro or con? That's 1% of America, okay? And not even the world, just 1% of this country. So that leaves 99% of the world still isn't even aware there's a flat earth movement out there. So you are going, you've just, the mainstream media covering this is going to introduce people that not only aren't even into the most mild and moderate conspiracy theories, you've just introduced them to the largest conspiracy ever. You <laughs> and you think they're just going to, Take it in and be like, oh, wow, okay, great, there's flat. <laughs> Good luck with that. They just called in the cavalry is what's quite possibly going on. Again, you think you've been trolled before. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. So, uh, you know, I, I, I just caution people, don't get discouraged if you think there's going to be this great big awakening, even if another... Uh, you know, there's a school of thought out there that, oh, another celebrity comes out and that's going to solidify it and that's going to, well, it's going to bring attention, that's for sure, but maybe not the attention you were hoping for. Um, there's also a very good chance that they're getting this out in the mainstream because most people aren't aware that there's a flat earth movement. So, like other people have warned about, there's been some, uh, 
questionable stories um, about how they may try to demonize flat earthers. You know, it's, it wouldn't be hard to make them look like the crazies. Make us look like the crazies. So, uh, you got to make make people aware that we're out here first. Again, 99% of the country isn't even aware there's a flat earth movement. So you put it on mainstream to make them aware that there's all these crazy people out here that believe in the flat earth. And then you create a situation where some flat earther, some flat earther or some plant made to be a flat earther does something stupid little hoax action little false flag action to demonize but you got to make aware of the people the movement first so you know all i can tell you is what what i've done from jump is try to show who the true terrorists are why why this hoax this lies this control mechanism has been perpetrated and put into place from jump through all these bloodlines to control the situation of the earth. <coughs> I've also said since I got into the flat earth movement, the, the larger it grows, the crazier shit's going to get. I don't believe that's coincidence. And am I wrong? So, stuff's going nuts. The bigger this gets. I also am of the school of thought that uh, in order to usher in a one world government, sovereign governments have to be destroyed. Difference, which I happen to agree with. The difference is they want to replace it with another control structure where, as I would like to see, humanity finally wake the hell up and realize... It's all just that control, and you don't need it. Um, so, again, I've also said from jump, I'm not here to stop anything. I'm not going to stop what's coming. Evil and and tough times are coming your way, humanity. That's the reality of the situation. They will make peaceful revolution impossible. Therefore, making violent revolution inevitable, which they will likely start themselves. That's what they want. So, I'm not going to stop it. You're not going to stop it. All I've ever done is come out here trying to educate people to the con so that in the end, please, I just can hope and pray that people will educate their children that anybody that survives what's coming doesn't just succumb to another control system but will be aware of the tactics they use to subvert your sovereignty your true freedom and liberty natural law do no harm unto others and that's all you need to know. The only currency system needed is your energy and your time. You do what you do. Your neighbor does what they do. You barter. Everything else is a control mechanism, a false paradigm. Man-made control structure. None of this stuff existed when humans arrived on this earth. It's all been contrived, and look where it's gotten us. People want to stick to these control mechanisms. They're so dependent on them. They're so like it's their lifeblood instead of the water and food that is truly our life source air food and water no it's money it's government it's it's destroying us it's destroying humanity
it all has from one jump all this technology all it, you think it gives you a longer lifespan to do what to be milked for tax dollars longer to be experimented on for you know contrived chemical medicines and more control structures more experimentation more guinea pig more more people to use as guinea pigs for for the elite the fucking demons of this world to try to make themselves into gods you really think they've invented heart transplants and all this stuff because they care about you they want to extend your life no you're just the guinea pigs for them to integrate machines into their bodies so they can live forever so they can try to themselves become gods and you people of science want to think you're not part of a religion you're just worshiping different gods and they are not kind they do not give a fuck about you period they use you we've all been used we're all being used so it's no offense to you, Mr. B.O.B., whether you're genuine, not, I, I really don't care. You're just another person. You are spouting the truth. Why you're doing it, I don't know. Don't, I'm not going to question your agenda, agendas. Don't. doesn't make no difference, again, to I know the truth. I know what's coming. I know these people aren't just going to take their ball and go home. <laughs> anybody in the flat earth movement should know that anybody that knows the not even the flat earth movement god i hate that shit just knows the flat earth truth knows we do not live on the globe they sold us should know they're not just going to take their ball and go home and give up they haven't built all these power all these militaries built up this false paradigm of country against country not to not use it to not use it for world war three to depopulate to use as a cover to wipe out anybody that doesn't go with the agenda so bottom line regardless of what bob does regardless of what anybody else on youtube does i know where i'm at my spirit's good i come out here and i yell and i get frustrated and i cuss at people again if, if I didn't care, I wouldn't talk to you. I wouldn't talk. If I didn't love people, I, I wouldn't say a fucking word. So people can try to demonize me because, oh, I get angry. I get this. I get that. It, it's Call it tough love. Call it trying to snap you out of the trance, whatever it is. It, it's what I know to do. It's what I feel to do. It's, it's, it's all genuine. I just... I don't know how many times I can say it. I just get on here and let it flow. I'm not going to script my shit. I'm not going to. I just come out and pour my heart out. It is my heart. It is my truth. People can try to, you know, paint it how they want. But I don't get a lot of it because I think people can feel. I, I feel what I'm saying. I just do the best I can to express it. It doesn't always work out that way, you know. It is what it is. Ain't none of us perfect. But uh, so that's so that's my situation. I love his cuts. I love I love the music, the mixtapes that have come out. <laughs> I love them. It's cool. But uh, I I just caution you. Don't think this is gonna bring some great wave of of awakening. I I think it may bring the exact opposite.